Hey, uh, it's me again. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this week, I'm going to do another book review of a book that I read. I mean, it looked really good on the cover. Here is what well, it's backwards to you, but it's The Stone Giant. And, you know, uh, hold on, I'll put the back. There we go. As you can see, there are the legs of a stone giant and uh, the lady and the guy in the submarine there. And uh, pretty much I've just showed you the award-winning fantasy writer, uh, you know, return, blah, blah. And I 200 pages of nothing but lochs and heathers. Um, and then more lochs and heathers. And, uh, you know, you, you just kind of skipped ahead 50 or 60 pages. And we, all through that, it was still more lochs and heathers. And uh, so then, you know, you got to the bit where you actually had some story other than him running through the bushes, you know, an ending story of him running through the bushes. I reckon that book could have been at least 100 pages shorter um, if you'd have just said, and he ran through this too, suffered from that same fate. It says, The Stone Giant. And there is made reference to, right at the beginning, this book by G. Smithers called The Stone Giant. And, and you're thinking, okay, well, what are, we, what are we getting to? What are we doing? And pretty much, it's the same sort of thing. Um, I think they just told this guy, he had the story written in like 10 pages, and they said, no, no, no. Wait, wait, this has to go on for... 200 at least you have to do at least 250 pages that's what we're paying you for here and so you've got 200 pages of not looks and heathers but you have submarines and you know um a never-ending river uh with a submarine that's filled with goblins every time he gets out of the submarine and, you know, spoiler alert, you know, uh, you're looking, you, you're thinking, we've got to come across the stone giant at some time, at some place. Th there has to be a stone giant here somewhere. And there is. It comes out and they fall over, spoiler alert. Um, you know, uh, you get 20 pages and they make a, you know, a viewing for uh, about 10 of those 20 pages, like I said, uh, which is very, very very disappointing it's like well yay you know the guy gets the girl at the end of the book which is always a nice thing you know we're always happy for good triumphing over evil and uh you know the guy getting the girl even though the guy is a simpering idiot that you'd like to give a good smack across the back of the head to every now and then uh but you know happy endings are always the thing this this did not give a mental a happy ending to my mental capacity by the end of this i was so frustrated that at some points i actually threw the book across more submarine thing in a river with goblins i, I can't you, you've got to you've got to think of something else you know throw in a troll or a, who the god knows what but you know if you're a fantasy writer you can come up with more goblins uh yeah so this this Unless you need something to start the fire or toilet paper is at a premium again and you need something in the little house to do the job. Even if it is 50 cents at an op shop, do not do this to yourself. It is not okay. It is very, very bad. And it's just... And I needed to share this just, just to help other people to not suffer through the anguish that I have done for you. That's, that's what I've done. Okay, well, that's all I have to say today because uh, I will be here for a couple of weeks because I'm, go I'm going on a holiday. Yes, even though it costs $9 million to get everywhere, even in a car, uh, we are going away. And then I'm staying away and Dave's coming back to work. <laughs> uh, so, so everybody have a wonderful time, wonderful, wonderful weekends and uh, have a great day at work. And, uh, and I will see you in a couple of weeks with a rundown of all the wondrous adventures from our holiday. Okay, bye.